is this even recording now? So, uh, I think we've got the grasp of it. So, let's see this test. When you cannot cry. Hello, I'm here at St Paul's and it's looking quite busy. Everyone's being all polite, uh, offering out information about the new world order, fractional reserve banking. Hello, mate. Uh, everyone, uh, everyone's quite peaceful, offering out free hugs, <laughs> and uh, I'm just looking for a few people to talk to. My name's Jonathan, I'm 21 years old, and I'm here because I've had enough of the government cutting all these jobs. I've been out of a job now for five years, and I've just had enough of the government thinking they can do all these cuts to mental health and all this and all that. They're doing a lot of cutbacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, other reasons I don't want to go into yeah. too much. I've got a little kid and I'm fighting for her future really. Yeah, it's, it's quite scary what this country is coming into. My, my biggest concern is that the whole West is going to fall because of it's what they want. It breaks my heart that not enough people in this country yeah. take a, a notice of what's happening. Now we pay £44 billion a year in, just in interest and it's going to be going up to £70 billion. So where are they going to get that? 25, 30 billion from going to come out of benefits, our, our pockets, it's really. more taxes, police cutbacks. Even I can imagine. I bet, I bet some of these will join us anyway. Yeah. You know, if it does go out well, of cuts and stuff, I bet they'll join Apparently, there's going to be 33,000 police cuts, but the way I see it is there'll be 33,000 less coppers, but they'll be replaced with army guys with MP5s. You know about the um, arms raid there? Pardon? Yes, it's on the steps. It's oh, yeah. a university lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you see or something. Apparently, um, some Kurdish family got raided by armed police because they thought they had a gun and it didn't. Uh, uh, it's just, a, it's just the police just trying to create some work and ruffle up the people. Just sing, sing, sing along. It won't change. Do you believe this government's corrupt? Of course. Do you believe corruption at that level is criminal? Yes. Is it against the law in this country and can you go to prison for aiding and betting a criminal or a criminal organisation in any way, shape or form? <laughs> Again. <laughs> Can you go to prison yeah. in this country for aiding, betting a criminal in any way or a criminal organisation in any way, shape or form? Yes. yes. That should prove to you that the laws of this country are in fact a joke. Uh, the, the, the legal system is president over law. Yep. No matter how you get into it, from where you come into it, you will go around in one big fucking circle before you decide you're too dizzy and trying to get out, and you won't get out because it's ever decreasing so far. And it ends up with a bigger bisque of prison. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. You can either go straight there, or you can go round and round in every decreasing yep. circles till you end up down there. I went into a court and I refused to say my name as they wanted me to say it, as in they asked for my first name and my surname. And I told them I didn't have a surname and they told me they were going to look me up for contempt of court. Now I don't see how that's contempt of court when the judges that are there ain't acting on their own. That to me is contempt of court. Yeah. So I did say to them, if you're going to threaten me with violence, then, you know, it's under dress and protest of a threat of violence. Is this, is this um, you know, what the law is in this country? And I was told to get out of court so they could try me in my absence. And I was said, well, you can't try me in my absence because I'm clearly stood in front of you. They informed me they couldn't. I informed them they couldn't because I was bloody stood in front of them. And if they couldn't see me, they should go to spectators. I'm promptly left the court. <laughs> Before I was arrested. Stood outside for 10 minutes, told everybody in the... Uh, public uh, waiting room, yeah, about lawful rebellion, handed out some leaflets, give somebody that just lost their license, um, told him he didn't need to worry about it, told him to the websites to go to to find out how to get his license back. 
poor to prove that he didn't need it. Yep. And you know, stuff like that, so they let me back in 10 minutes later. When you go in there with a load of people, it sort of like changes the perspective. Yeah, yeah that, that's why, that, the past time, couple of times I've gone, I've gone with one other person. I've done so well by myself. Yeah, because it's better. And that's me up from the dock and it gives you like a few hours in the cells to get things over in your head. Yeah, but, but that's it, because you're on your own, you haven't got the backup of everybody else behind you, so you're not jeering up a crowd. Mm. You've got nobody behind you screaming and shouting, well, my brothers wanted to come. And, and you're I'm claiming like, to be your own authority yeah, as well. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. 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 And my brothers, I'm saying to my brothers, you can't come, you can't come. I said, because if they drag me down, oh, we ain't going to do anything. Eh? We'll just laugh at them. I said, that's it. You know, you will sit and say, that's not right, that's not right. The second any, anybody says that, that's not right, that shouldn't be happening. Yeah, oh, I've got a crowd, so it's make an example of him quickly. You know what I mean? I said, we don't want that. Yeah, I want the 12 people, but I want the 12 people that I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, so they're not, the photos, they're not sitting there saying, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, well, that's wrong, that's wrong. Just be there. But when is your date? Uh, the 7th. The 7th of November. 7th of November at Dunedin. Uh, 12 volunteers that I don't know come to go in, sit down at the back of the court, listen to the evidence. You know, I, I will face a jury. Yeah. I have no problems facing a jury. Yeah? If the court don't let me say my stuff, then I will say it privately to the jury about what I've done and why I did it. Now, if they want to then inform their opinion and find me not guilty or guilty, they can. But I need 12 bits of paper signed by people to say we heard the evidence and this is what we think. I'm outside St Paul's and my camera died, so I can't really take pictures now. So uh, I just want to read some of the posters that I can see. Uh, outside St Paul's, Jesus, born in the West Bank, was against money lenders and imperialists. International Jewish and Zionist network. Tax havens and loopholes for the poor. Stand with those opposing greed, poverty and racism. Let's make the Eaton boys live on a council estate for a month. Under capitalism, the banks would have died. I think the BBC, like BBC, I got an interview the other day and he said, I'm going to definitely get this online because I've I've clearly said like my opinions on um, how this is all orchestrated to collapse the monetary system and or Anonymous has been set up by the government to uh, make it look like the people collapse the banking system so they get the black. You, you think Anonymous are uh, like a government it, agency? It just seems very suspicious when they, they use NLP techniques on their videos. <laughs> They came out of nowhere, they got mainstream media coverage. Um, right. Yeah, that's have got the whole world yeah, doing nice. this by going into mainstream in every country, which we all know is controlled. Yep. And they have these meetings, the Bilderberg meetings, and they talk about this shit. And oh. Rupert Murdoch, they're fucking going, yeah, I'll tell you what I can do next year. Shazam, motherfuckers. Yeah. They've got it all, you know what I mean? How are we going to take down this, like, move, these movements that are going on? Let's group them all up, get them in the cities, and uh, deep cities got a ring road around it, and enforce martial law and lock them all in. Enforce the RFID chip on them, on them all, or fucking put them in, put them down, put them down. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, the people in solidarity here uh, are all peaceful people. They're all here because they want to make a change. They want people to be aware of the, the corporate crimes that the corporations and the government put against us. We pay 44 billion a year or so in, in, in interest to the banks and people are fed up paying it. It's going to be going up to 70 billion. And that, uh, as the government going to save that, they're going to cut down on the benefits, child support. Uh, interest rates are going to go up. People are going to suffer. People are suffering. <laughs> and to the people that think these protesters are just anti-capitalist, non-educated people, from what I've seen, people do know. People do know what's going on. And they're not against capitalism as a whole. They're, they're against the corporate greed and how uh, people don't matter. You know, it should be people before the corporations. With, without us, they can't exist. We are the consumerists. We are the user. So we need to unite and put together our own bit of legislation, our own rules, and tell the corporations how we want to be treated and how how they're supposed to see us. And, uh, 
Yeah. All I see is peaceful people here. No, no one's willing to to be violent to to spread their message. This this is not on their agenda. All they care about is peace and everyone. They care about the people that don't even care about what's happening in this world. So um, I'm really glad I come today to see the happy faces and the awareness. People really care. Anyway, in a bit. 